In this video, we'll take a look at EPCOR ERP version 10 scheduling and how it can help you with your day-to-day -day scheduling issues. The first place we'll see how scheduling works within EPCOR is at the work order or job level. Here in this dates pane, we'll see when the job is scheduled to start and to finish in order to meet that required by date. You can also see we have scheduling priorities. In the tree view on the left hand side, you can see the routings or what we call the operations for this particular work order. It's these routings and the resources associated with those operations that determine the length of time needed to complete this particular work order. This means that there is a lot of calculations going on in the background by Epicor. We're taking those mathematical calculations out of your calculators and spreadsheets and utilizing the system instead. We can already see that there are some visual cues in regards to scheduling. You'll see there is this red dot. This is actually letting you know that there isn't enough availability at the station to complete the operation. This means that for those of you with the more visual mindset, you can actually catch an issue before it becomes a true problem. This will save you both time and money. For those of you with a more analytical mind, we have a way of displaying a list of those issues by day. This is essentially going to be your hit list of items you need to address in order to keep your company running smoothly. This is where the art of scheduling meets the science. Epicor has mathematically determined how everything can be scheduled, but this is where you can apply your personal touch in order to keep the shop floor running smoothly. Here you can see that the laser is currently overloaded with work orders, and I can do something about it. In this case, I'll balance the load between a couple of machines instead of attempting to just use one machine for all work orders. It's as simple as this. What you're looking at right now are two scheduling boards. On the left, we can see everything based on an individual machine. There are three work orders currently scheduled on this machine. You can see that they all look pretty cramped together around the same time. If you look at the right, we can see a board that has a multi-machine view as you can see, we scheduled them to all be done on that first laser cutter. This isn't going to work because that machine doesn't have enough capacity. What I'm going to do is spread the load over to that second machine. I'll go to this actions menu and you'll see that load level option. What we'll do then is do a refresh on the second scheduling board and you'll see we spread it over time and onto that second laser. I'll be able to complete these operations without having any scheduling issues on those machines. So we've solved this issue and now my shop floor will keep running smoothly, saving me time and reducing those complications involved with manual scheduling. What we just saw was one example of how Epicor can handle your day-to-day -day scheduling. If for some reason you like looking at scheduling by machine center for the next eight days and having more color cues, what you can do is create a dashboard that will allow you to see that exact view. This is one example of that dashboard where I'm looking at the next eight days. You'll see I've got red indicating that something is overloaded and green for something that is within the capacity range. We can also see that in the lower level, we've got it broken down so we can see the work orders that comprise the hours associated with that machine center. This is just one example of the way we can have many different views for scheduling and create whatever view makes it easiest for you. Thank you for watching this video on Epicor ERP and how it can help you with your scheduling needs.